welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today. So I feel like this summer I've pretty much played it safe in terms of my makeup. I'm definitely uh, going for the glowy and pretty and lightweight makeup most days. Today I was kind of feeling like I was in a rut and I wanted to do something with a little bit more attitude, a little bit more spunk. So I thought I'd do this grungy tutorial for you. I feel like a lot of the 90s trends are coming back now. You know, it goes on that circulation of every 20 years. So we've got like those chokers coming back, we've got brown lips coming back as a trend, and we're starting to see a lot more grunge too. I've done kind of quick smoky eyes on my channel before um, but I feel like today I really tied it all in together with this kind of attitude of a look and I used the elf everyday smoky palette which just came out it's got 10 shades uh, totally not sponsored by the way I'm just really really liking this palette for this type of look um, I have swatches of this and the other uh, three studio palettes that they just came out with on my blog which I will link below but what I really think makes this look is my lip which is like this brownish gray and this is the color pop lippy sticks in the shade wet and I have the corresponding lip liner in wet underneath as well. I had never seen this shade before. It's not quite that grayish that's super popular right now on Instagram which has more of like a lavender undertone which um, is like their ultra matte lip in trap which I mentioned in my summer favorites. This is like a true gray lipstick. It's pearlized, which means it has like a very slight metallic finish. I think it's just so unique and I've been kind of stumped on how to work it into a look for everything to look cohesive and I think this is a really great way. Anyway, if you want to see how I got this look, I keep a watching. First up, I'm starting with my eye primer. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer that I love oh so much and I'm putting that on my lid and under my eye. I'm going to start out by highlighting the brow bone with this super light eggshell shade that is matte from the palette. Then I'm going to grab this cool taupe with a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to use that in and above my crease as a transition shade. Next from the small tapered blending brush, this is my Sigma E45. I'm going to take that dark brown and really concentrate that in my outer corner and my crease. And I'm going to bring that dark brown under my lower lash line as well and blend that downwards, connect that to the corner, and just keep on blending. And then I'm going to take that taupe again on the fluffy blending brush and just blend out any harsh lines. So next I'm going to take this matte gray, it's kind of a medium gray, and I'm going to pat that all over the lid with a flat shader brush. To add a little bit of dimension, I'm going to use this sparkly beige color and just pat that right in the middle of my eyelid. Next, I'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil. This one is from Ofra that I really, really like. And it's pigmented, but it's soft enough to smudge later. So I'm going to get that really close to my lash line, going a little bit upwards to the corners, not really a lot. It's not a cat eye type of look or anything. Um, I'm just trying to get a solid line really close to my lashes. Next I'm taking this Real Technique smudge brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend that liner out. Just get a really nice smoky grungy look there. By the way, I wanted to do this as a talk through tutorial because I feel like those are easier to film and more enjoyable to watch. But my dishwasher is freaking loud. After that's all blended out, I'm going to go back in with the pencil and darken the line just right up against my lashes. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same process on my lower lash line. And get ready for a really funny eye twitch. There it is. And to get that really dark smoldering look, I am going to tight line my upper and lower waterline.
I'm going in with this Physicians Formula Mascara that's actually from their Eye Booster Eyelash Extension Kit, but the mascara actually rocks on its own even without the fibers. So I'm just going to use that to get super volumized lashes on the top and bottom lashes. I'm going to try to fan them out, kind of place them exactly where I want them. To add some color to the face, I'm using the new City Color Cosmetics Contour Effects Palette 2. I'm going to use the contour color right under my cheekbones in the hollows and a little bit onto my temples. And I'm using the new Real Technique Sculpting Brush for this technique. This actually happens to be Sam Chapman's favorite brush. And instead of blush, I'm just going to go ahead and use the bronzer from this palette and place it where I would place blush. Because I want to keep the face super neutral because we're going so heavy on the eyes and lips. Um, but this will add a little bit of color and warmth to the face. And then I'm going to grab the highlight from this palette with a Sigma F40 brush and just apply that to the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit going upwards into the temples as well. I'm also going to go ahead and put that on the top of my cupid's bow. To prep the lips, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Wet. I'm going to go ahead and line them as well as fill them in. I know I'm doing like a dopey smile while I do this, but it actually helps keep the skin kind of taut so that way you can get crisper lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in wet. Now if you really wanted more of an authentic grunge look, I would actually just stop at the lip liner because it is matte, while the Lippy Sticks has a pearlized finish, like I said earlier. So it adds just a little bit of luster, but I kind of prefer this look anyway. Adds a little bit of interest because everything else is kind of flat and receded with the dark colors. So I personally like it. You do you. Do what you like. And that's all, folks. Side note, I really like how these dark, smoldering eyes make my actual eye color look brighter. It's hard to make brown eyes pop sometimes, but this really does a trick. And that's it. I feel like this is a really great way to play around with this type of lip color because it ties everything together because we've got the grungy eye, the lip isn't so out of place here. And then of course I kept my face pretty neutral only using contour and bronzer to add a little bit of warmth just because we went heavy on both the eyes and the lips which is typically like a makeup no-no. Um, that kind of balances it out so that we're not super clown face crazy. If you like looks like this, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you want me to do more. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you go and thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. I will see you in my next one. Bye. The release of these was crazy. I mean, the site was crashing. Nobody could add anything to their cart. I think I had tried when they first